Hey everyone, welcome back to Tour Reviews 51, review number 105. Sorry it's been a while since I've posted, but today I got a really cool one in. I actually received this in a couple weeks ago, maybe longer. Uh, this is from Sideshow Collectibles. This is the Joker, the Dark Knight, the Heath Ledger version of the premium format figure, the exclusive. Uh, as you can see here, number 106 of 1500. So I'm going to go ahead and get past the shipping container. Let's take a look at the artwork box. Um, Remember, hit that subscribe button just real quick uh, after review number 200, which is about 95 reviews away from this one. I'm going to be doing a 1-6 scale, maybe even a premium format. Who knows? Uh, free giveaway. Uh, just did one after review number 100. Prime Collector won it, so congrats out to you, bro. Uh, so let's go ahead look at this Joker, uh, the Dark Knight premium format, Heath Ledger one. I uh, actually ordered the Prime one that's going to be coming in soon also, but... Definitely looking forward to checking out this one from Sideshow. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at it here. Uh, start with the artwork box. Okay, so here we have the artwork box. Black and white, pretty cool. Like it a lot, the Dark Knight. Uh, as you can see there, this is what we're going to be seeing. Heath Ledger, uh, Joker from the Dark Knight, holding the Joker playing card. This is the front of the box. Uh, as we move over to us to the side, we kind of see the skyscrapers of Gotham, Batman, silhouette there in the background. Pretty cool. Um, the Batman logo, as you can see, kind of just wraps around right here. So that's a nice little touch. On the side, just a little bit of uh, splash art. Nothing really fancy at all. On the back, it just continues. Uh, so you can see there, sideshow.com. Got a new camera here, a new recording device, so... Uh, let me flip this, excuse the camera angle, I'm going to flip this and see if uh, the bottom has anything nice on it. Uh, yep, as you can see, the DC collaboration, uh, Batman logo, Warner Brothers, 2016, Sideshow, number 106 of 1500. So, let's go ahead and get to the fun shit. Let's go ahead and uh, crack this bad boy open, take a look at this uh, premium format new release from Sideshow. As you guys can see, it is an exclusive. Uh, so happy to get to this one. One of the uh, Batman, of course, uh, top three: Alien, Batman, Predator. So any of those that come out, I'm always keeping them. I am gonna start selling a shit ton of one six scales. I'm just gonna shift to premium formats and uh, half scale, third scale. Just the really nice stuff. Uh, make more room for my sports collection. So let's go ahead and get straight to this and take a look at this figure here. Okay, so real quick, here's a look at the parts that come with this. Of course, the body here, the purple coat, uh, really cool. Uh, the face is really cool. Look at that. The sculpt, the, the craftsmanship, the sculpt on this is just fucking awesome. Um, okay, and then it also comes three, three parts, kind of fire that'll come from the base. Uh, of course, the um, right hand is holding the Joker card. And what makes it the exclusive, I believe, is I believe this is the part that comes with all the basic, um, on this would be the left hand that comes with all the basic, uh, jokers. I think what makes it the exclusive is this left hand has like a detonator type device in it. Um, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to go with. I probably will go with the gun because it just looks a lot cooler. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put this together. Oh, but first, let's take a look at the base. Um, the base is pretty cool. I like simple a lot. Uh, you know, it's prime one, they kind of go over the top, which I really do like. Um, but as you guys can see here, it's really simple. What you see is what you get. So on the bottom, as you guys can see there, I'll try to hold it steady. Uh, the Joker premium format figure, the Dark Knight has the ha 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 Gotham around it. Uh, number 106 of 1500. As you guys can see, hopefully 2016, Sideshow Inc. But I know I didn't receive this until like January, February, somewhere in there. So I think their goal was to get it out in 2016, but you know, shit just didn't happen. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble all this together. We'll take a good look at this uh, Heath Ledger version of the Joker from The Dark Knight. And uh, I'll see what I think about it overall, but... I think I'm actually going to go with that gun in the right hand, but if the other one looks cooler, I'll go with it, but let's take a look at it. Okay, well here it is, guys, the uh, Dark Knight Premium Format, uh, the Joker, Heath Ledger version. Uh, really fucking cool, love it. 
the detail on the face, as you guys can see here, hopefully the focus is pretty good. I'm going to try to get in closer than usual. Bam. Fucking awesome. Uh, as you can see there, he's holding the Joker playing card. Uh, it's attached to his right hand. Uh, I mean, just this is just fucking brilliant. I mean, this is awesome. This has got to be one of my favorite. I mean, I don't have a Heath Ledger piece other than like the Bank Robber 1 6 scale. Uh, this is the first premium format that I've picked up of him. If they made one before, probably. Uh, but I really wasn't collecting back then. But I'm looking forward to that Prime 1 piece. Uh, but as we move down, as you guys can see, the purple coat with the green inlay jacket, uh, the, uh, the vest on the inside. Uh, we'll move down. I have him holding the gun, as you guys can see there, which had a lot better touch than holding that, that uh, detonator. Um, has like these little parts that come in here, kind of a little bit of fire, you know what I mean? Uh, so it's a cool little touch, you know, but one thing is they're not like, they don't stick in well, so you can't like, you know, you got to be very careful with this piece if you're going to have those in there. But it makes a nice little touch, as you guys can see right there. Um, <clears throat> I'll move in a little bit closer. We'll move in. Uh, the, the shoes on, I mean, they're really cool. Uh, everything's just on point. It only stands into this back peg here. It has a peg on the back left foot that goes in. This just simply sits flat on top of the base. Um, we'll move around, take a look at the back of it. Let me see if I can lower the screen just a tad. All right. As you guys can see there, I mean, that's a really cool fucking piece. I mean, this thing is just fucking fabulous. Um, it's pretty cool there. It came down a little bit, but you can see a sock right there. I think it's meant to show a little bit, so that's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> the base, like I said, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty generic, uh, but I'm good with that. I mean, they gave these nice little touches here of this, uh, fire, so I'm good with that. As you guys can see, this kind of lifts up a little bit. Um, it does have like a little wire in there where you can position how you want to, but I'm just going to leave it open where you can see the purple uh, tux there um, on the Joker. <clears throat> we'll move around. Uh, one thing different about this piece is the back part of his hair attaches to the head. So there's two pieces that actually make the face sculpture. So that's a pretty cool feature. I've seen it before, but not often. Um, so there it is. I know it's kind of a far shot, but uh, my new setup, it's uh, just the way it's going to be. But I do give close-ups. So as you guys can see there, really cool piece. Fucking love it. 10 of 10. The price was super reasonable. Uh, I think they might still have these available. So if you're looking to pick it up, I'd jump quick because I have a feeling in about two years, these things are going to be fucking like three or four times the price of retail. Um, so, uh, appreciate you guys watching. I'll go ahead and close this video out. I've already went a little bit too long. So, this is review number 105 on Tour Reviews 51. Appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned. I'm going to be doing a Prime 1 on the next episode. Really cool fucking piece that I got in. I'm looking forward to opening it up. It's from the Batman line. So, stay, forward, stay, look, uh, stay tuned to that one. That'll be review number 106. So, until then, thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Catch you guys on the next video. Late.